never know where the bad is going to come from. You're about to become the queen of Aradon, Mal. You and Ben are going to make the world a better place, and one day your daughter is going to attend Aradon Prep alongside Evie, Audrey, Uma, and Jane's kids. And you never know where the heroes are going to come from either. We really wish we could see what the next generation of descendants is going to look like, so we got a little creative. Well, you know what they say, the poison apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> We're still waiting for Descendants 4 to get the green light, so in the meantime we thought it'd be fun to theorize on possible spin-offs. Keep watching to find out what the future generation of Descendants are going to act like and look like. You won't believe who Mal's daughter is going to be best friends with. No! Uma's daughter. Uma and her mother Ursula weren't really close. Mom! But that's not going to be the case for Uma and her future daughter. If the descendants' naming trend continues, we think Uma's daughter's name would be Ursa. Just like her mother, Ursa would have strong leadership skills. She would be a great public speaker and friend. She'd be able to sail a boat from a very young age, and by the time she was a teenager, Ursula would have her own ship and crew. Ursula would be one of the best pirates Aradon has ever seen, and that's because she was raised by not one, but two pirates. If you haven't guessed it yet, Harry Hook would be Ursa's dad. That means that her full name would be Ursa Hook, the famous granddaughter of the baddie Captain Hook. Ursa wouldn't carry around a fake hook like her dad, but she'd probably wear a silver necklace with a hook pendant. Ursa would have a great personality. She would be feisty and confident like her mom. <laughs> yet sarcastic and witty like her dad. She would easily be one of the most popular girls at Aradon Prep, but she would never use her popularity to bully others. At first glance, you could never tell that Harry Hook was Ursa's father, and that's because she would look exactly like her mom. Lovely. Ursa would have long curly brown hair with aqua tips. She'd have the same skin tone as her mom and big brown eyes too. She would make her mom proud by sporting the color aqua but pay homage to her dad by always wearing a black leather jacket. Ursa would be one of the most powerful VKs in Aradon. She would inherit all of her mom's powers. Uma would eventually give Ursa her seashell necklace. And Uma and Ursa would turn into Cecilia's and go for long swims under the sea. Despite being raised by two VKs, Ursa would never refer to herself as the bad guy, but that's not to say that she hasn't partaken in some mischievous behavior. Ursa would be best friends with Gil's daughter, who would also be a pirate. What do you think of the name Ursa? Tell us what you'd name Uma's daughter in the comments. Carlos's daughter Villains don't make the best parents, but they make fantastic grandparents. Carlos's mom, Corella Deville, wasn't exactly nice to him when he was growing up. <laughs> but she made up for that by being a fantastic grandmother to Ella Deville. We think Ella would be a great name for Carlos and Jane's daughter. After all, it pays homage to both Cruella and Cinderella. And since Jane's mom, the fairy godmother, was first introduced in the Disney movie Cinderella, it just makes sense. If the shoe fits, right? Ella would be the sweetest girl in Aradon. She would learn the meaning of true friendship from her dad, and she would be a total animal lover too. Dude, the dog would eventually have puppies and Ella would keep the runt of the litter and name her Dudette. Just like Jane, Ella would be super organized. She'd plan the school dances and she'd be coined the Aradon party planner. Ella would be incredibly intelligent. She'd be her graduating class's valedictorian and she'd become a total tech whiz thanks to her dad. Ella would take from Jane's side of the family. Like boyfriend and girlfriend, we can hold hands instead of slugging each other all the time? She'd have the same long brown hair and bright blue eyes as her mom, but she wouldn't dress like her mom in the slightest. Ella would look like a total VK in her black, white, and red leather outfits, specifically designed by her Aunt Evie. Unlike Jane, Ella would be raised around magic. Her fairy godmother would teach her everything she knows, and she'd even be allowed to use her wand. Despite looking like a total villain, Ella would be super sweet and caring. She would never practice black magic and would defend Aradon in the blink of an eye. She'd be just as brave and honest as her parents. Ella would love school and one day dream of becoming the headmistress of Aradon Prep. Carlos and Jane's girl would be best friends with Jay's daughter. They would go on wild adventures together and literally be inseparable. What do you guys think of the name Ella? Tell us what you would name Carlos's daughter in the comments below. Evie's daughter 
Evie's mom, the evil queen, raised her to believe that status, beauty, and wealth were the three most important things a girl could have. You just find yourself a prince with a big <laughs> castle and a mother-in-law wig. It didn't take long for Evie to find out that that was all a lie, which is why that's the last thing she would ever teach her daughter. In perfect descendants fashion, Evie would name her daughter Eve, and she'd grow up to be a mixture of both Evie and Doug. Eve would have the perfect combination of beauty and brains. She would be one of the most brilliant students at Aradon Prep and would constantly compete with Ella to have the highest grades. But on top of being a total whiz, Eve would also share her mother's love for fashion. Evie would inspire her to start a clothing line at 13 years old, which she would name Eve's Apple, and Eve would make suits and gowns for the students at Aradon Prep. On top of being a business savvy go-getter, Eve would also have a nerdy side. Her dad is Doug after all, which is why she'd love music as much as she loves fashion. Eve would be a proud member of the Aradon on Prep's marching band and would play the trumpet just like her dad. Despite being a sweet and soft-spoken person, Eve would never be a pushover. Anyone who tried to make fun of her for being in the marching band would live to regret it. Eve would be somewhat of a klutz except for when she's walking down the runway. Hi, ho. Evie, evil queen's daughter. Eve will have the same dark blue hair color as her mom. She'll be one of the prettiest girls in school, and she'll never go anywhere without her tiara. She'll have her mother's brown eyes, but her dad's poor eyesight. But she'll opt for contacts instead of glasses. Eve will be one of the good guys, and her grandmother, the evil queen, will teach her how to use spells, but she'll make sure to filter out the bad ones. Eve will be best friends with Dizzy's daughter, Izzy, who will be an aspiring photographer. They'll spend their days taking photo shoots and creating new outfits. Tell us what you think of the name Eve in the comments. Audrey's daughter. Audrey may have been raised by Princess Aurora and Prince Philip, but she turned out to be a total villain. And Audrey's daughter will have a mean streak in her too. She'll be the baddest girl in Ardon Prep, but every now and then she'll show her true colors. Despite coming off as a mean girl, Audrey's daughter will be one of the best friends a person could ever hope for. Audrey would continue the descendants' naming trends by naming her daughter Aubrey. Aubrey would mimic her mom's personality and make her proud, but when no one's watching, she would let her guard down and be kind to those closest to her. Her. But unlike her mom, Aubrey wouldn't throw her princess status in everyone's face. Wearing dresses and going to balls just wouldn't be her thing. Aubrey would rather wear comfortable clothes that she can fence in. Aubrey would value power and be super competitive. She would be the best fencer in Aradon, and pirates would constantly try to recruit her. Aubrey would be the daughter of Chad, and would have Cinderella as a grandmother. But unlike Chad, Aubrey wouldn't be scared of anything. She'd constantly be looking for the next adventure, and Audrey would often scold her daughter for not being ladylike, but that wouldn't face her one bit. Loyal boyfriend by your side, huh? Partner in crime? Sidekick? Aubrey would look more like Chad than she would Audrey. She would have a pale complexion, a light dusting of freckles, and big blue eyes. She would keep her hair short, making it easier to fight. The one trait that would tie Audrey and Aubrey together would be Aubrey's vibrant pink hair. Audrey and her daughter would fight a lot, but in the end, Audrey would be super proud of her for being her own person. Aubrey wouldn't have any magical powers of her own, but what she'd lack in powers, she'd make up for in skills. Just like her parents, Aubrey is a master manipulator. She always gets what she wants, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't work hard to get it. Aubrey wouldn't have a lot of friends due to her pushing people away, but one person would see through her mean girl act and quickly become best friends with her. Mal's daughter. Mal spent most of her life trying to follow in her mom's footsteps. The future of the three world rests on your shoulders. That is, until she realized that she wanted to be her own person. Mao's daughter is going to struggle with the same exact thing. We think Mao's daughter would be named Mallory. But let us know if you prefer another name in the comments. Being the daughter of the Queen and King of Aradon is no small feat. And Mallory will have some big shoes to fill from a very young age. Despite wanting to make her mom and dad proud, Mallory will dream of going on adventures and will dislike the idea of one day becoming queen. Despite her reluctance to wear the crown, Mallory will have excellent leadership and decision-making skills. She'll have a solution to every problem and be one of the bravest people in Aradon. But when it comes to school, Mallory won't be too invested. She'll be naturally street smart and see mathematics as her own sworn enemy. When need be, Mallory will be diplomatic like her father, King Ben, but she'd much rather be on the front lines instead of cooped up in an office. Mallory will appear super close to her grandfather, Hades, and he'll teach her how to bring her powers to the next level. Just like Mal, Mallory will have the ability to transform to a dragon. She'll be able to cast spells, brew potions, and hold her own in a sword fight.
we are all capable of good and bad. Mallory will be a carbon copy of Mal, but Ben won't mind one bit. She'll have bright green eyes, dark purple hair, and the same complexion as her mom. Everyone will recognize the Princess of Aradon in a heartbeat, so she'll often use charms to conceal her appearance. Believe it or not, but Mallory will be best friends with Aubrey. They'll bond over their parents' expectations of them and become besties despite their family history. And that's a wrap. Before you go, tell us who your favorite descendants couple is and be sure to give their future kid name. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to The Things for more fun content. We'll catch you next time.